Professor Abrasive's long-awaited ODE for the Sega Saturn, The Satiator, is finally in production. So I figured while we're waiting for our turn in the queue, I'd do a really quick video on the setup for the SD cards so we can all be ready for the day as arrive. The Satiator supports SD cards up to one terabyte in size. And for this, I'll be using a 128 gig SanDisk micro SD with adapter. Now the SD cards do need to be formatted in FAT32. So that's the first process we're gonna go through. If you have a Mac, this is super straightforward and you can use the disk utility to format the card to FAT32. However, if you have Windows, you will need some specialized software. So we're gonna head over to the Satiator website and Professor Abrasive's put together a really nice getting started guide and in there is a link to some freeware called GUI format. So if you click the link it will open up Softpedia's website and then when the page opens you'll see about two thirds of the way down the screen the GUI format exe file download. Just click that link and a pop-up box will appear and then just click any one of the three download links. This will download a zip file which contains the exe file itself. So once you have this downloaded, just extract it to somewhere where you can find it. I'm gonna drop this on my desktop. Once you've got that extracted, just click on the icon itself and it'll open up the prompt here. Select the drive that you wanna format and double check that to make sure that it is the correct drive and then just add a volume label to it. So I just named mine SAN and click start. It will prompt you if you really wanna format the drive. So again, just double triple check to make sure that you are formatting the correct drive and it will run through the process in just a couple of seconds. So once the process is complete, we can actually go into the SD card properties just to make sure that the processes work correctly. And you can see here that the file system type is FAT32, so that worked great. Now we've got the SD card formatted the way it needs to be. We're gonna head back over to the Satiator website and we're gonna scroll down towards the bottom of the page. Under the section that says the menu, there is a link here that you can click and that will actually download the menu files. And also under the section entitled firmware updates, there is a link right at the bottom of the screen which will download the latest version of the firmware. Now the firmware update is completely optional, but I did want to have the latest firmware available on my Satiator when it arrives. So I'm probably going to re-download this uh, when my Satiator arrives, but for now I'm just going to take this file so you guys can see what we're doing here. All right, so now we're done with the Satiator website and I can move over to my downloads folder. So here you can see we've got the two files that we downloaded from the Satiator website and we're just going to extract those and I'm going to drop those into a folder on my desktop named Saturn. So looking in the Saturn folder on my desktop you'll see that we've got the menu.bin and the satiator.fw files and they're literally the only two files that the Satiator actually needs to run. So we're all good and essentially we're all set up. And the next thing you'll want to start adding are your game files. Now you'll see here there's a subfolder named bootleg sampler and this is actually a subfolder containing the bin and queue files for the bootleg sampler demo disk and we'll take a quick look in there just to see what that looks like. Okay so you can see that we've got the queue file and this one is a multi-bin game and your games will look very similar to this if you are using the bin and queue system however the satiator does also support ISO files. So now the only other thing we need to do is get all of these files onto the SD card. So what we'll do is just head back into the main folder here, copy and paste over to the SD card itself. And once that's done copying, we are all set. Now the only other thing you may want to do is add a few more games. So you can add individual folders for each game containing the bin and queue files or ISO files. And from what I've been reading, the Satiator does support subfolders. So if you wanted to set up a folder structure for either genre or region, you can do that too. And now the only other thing to do is eject the SD card and wait for our turn in the queue to come. I hope you found the video helpful. If you have, please drop us a like and please consider subscribing. It really helps the channel grow. And also don't forget to check us out on Twitter. Thanks for watching.